Judas Priest kicked off the second leg of their 50 Heavy Metal Years Tour tonight in uh, Connecticut. Uh, so they're on the second leg of this. They went from uh, Bloodstock last year in August to the U.S. to uh, a postponement due to uh, Richie Faulkner's health. And then they got back on the road triumphantly. And then now they're on the second leg. So as Judas Priest always does, they always give us some surprises. It's 50 heavy metal years. They got to kick something right into the set list. Let's go through it, what they played. So they started off differently than they did for the first leg here. We got the Hellion on a tape and we got Electric Eye as the opening track. Electric Eye, obviously, always a great track to hear live. And you can check more of these out at setlist.fm, which is where I'm getting the set list that I got this from anyway. But... Electric Eye, great opening Judas Priest track. I'm not sure if I've ever seen them where they've played Electric Eye first. Usually it's either like an encore starter or something like that, or it's in the encore. It's a very popular song. I love Electric Eye. It might be my favorite Judas Priest song. Can't wait to hear them play this one. I've seen them play it a couple times, but it's always great to see Electric Eye. Up next, we had Riding on the Wind from Screaming for Vengeance. It's the first time since 2005 that they've played this. Yes, folks. First time since I, I, the reunion tour uh, with, with Halford and everybody. And Riding on the Wind from Screaming for Vengeance. Another awesome track. Can't wait to hear this one live, especially with the changes that they make to the sound and everything with Richie's uh guitar playing. And so Riding on the Wind, just a great, great track list. They really kick this one off right it's not a screaming for vengeance tour but they're starting off with two songs from that album i actually went and recorded this video and then went back and looked at the set list before editing it and they added a song at the third slot they played heading out to the highway a great track off of point of entry one i've heard them play plenty of li plenty of times live so uh because of this mistake the numbers following this point are a little more messed up but uh it's still the same set list it's 17 songs now instead of the 16 that i thought it was so go figure. Uh, so thanks for uh, following along here with this little uh, mistake. But back to the rest of the list now. Up third, we have Jawbreaker from the uh, Defenders of the Faith album. This is the first time they're playing this one since 2015. And Jawbreaker is another great choice from, from Defenders of the Faith. Not my favorite track off of, them, off of that album, but a great one to hear live. Jawbreaker, kind of a deeper cut off of Defenders of the Faith. And, you know, Judas Priest will always get, give us some deep cuts here. And we've got another deep cut, sort of, for their fourth track, where we have the live debut of Never the Heroes off of the Firepower album. I was surprised that through all three legs of the Firepower tour that they just didn't play this song. This was a big single off of the Firepower album. And they played three legs of a tour where they played almost every other song off of the album besides this one. Cannot wait to hear them play this one live. Never, never the Heroes. Firepower, when we get to Judas Priest-a-thon, which is coming next month, by the way, starting in November, uh, Judas Priest album reviews every single album, track by track, all that good stuff, like the Iron Maiden-a-thon reviews that I did. But Firepower is one of my favorite Judas Priest albums. And Never the Heroes, I've heard almost every other song on the album live because they played them all throughout all three legs. Never the Heroes cannot wait to hear this one live. Up five, we've got uh, Beyond the Realms of Death, the Judas Priest classic, the sort of ballady song, but it's obviously not a ballad, like a power ballad, but slower song, de more depressing song, um, Beyond the Realms of Death, really, really awesome song. I haven't heard them play this song live in quite a while, and so I can't wait to hear it again. With Judas Priest, this song, you know I can hear the how loud the guitars are going to be, how loud those power chords are going to ring. And Beyond the Realms of Death, a one that has a great vocal performance from Rob Halford. Cannot wait to hear him belt this track. Sixth, they had Judas Rising off of uh, Angel of Retribution. So we're getting some Angel of, Re Angel of Retribution action here on the 50 Heavy Metals Years Tour. And, in and Judas Rising, great opening track. Just a great track in general. Great start. Great sort of mid set list track here to keep the crowd going after beyond the realms of death they're really doing a great job with this tour so far from what i can see of making sure that the crowd is engaged throughout everything and that's really the hallmark of a great set list and judas rising an excellent awesome pick for the uh this track list number seven a little bit of a disappointing one just because i really 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 like the long version that they played on the epitaph world tour and following that with You've Got Another Thing Coming, the Richie Faulkner guitar solo that added, you know, an extra six minutes to the song or whatever it is. 
Really one of my favorite live tracks that they've ever done. I wish they would go back to that and have this sort of as a set closer because it really works well with the uh, the crowd, crowd sing-alongs and all of that. It works a lot better than Living After Midnight, my opinion on this. I just love You've Got Another Thing Coming Live, whether it's this shorter version or the longer version. It's a great song to hear live either way, but I do prefer that longer version with the excellent, the awesome, just mind-blowing guitar solo from Richie Faulkner. Number eight, we have... My favorite song off of British Steel, we have Steeler. Steeler came back into the set list in that third leg of the Firepower Tour, and it absolutely savages audiences. And Steeler is a, just one of the heaviest songs they can play live. Just that breakdown in the middle. Oh my god, I can, I can feel my neck hurting already, and I'm seeing them in November. I'm not even seeing them in October yet. And I can feel my neck hurting from headbanging along to that section of the song. Steeler, great track off of British Steel. Great deep cut off of British Steel. I saw them on the British Steel, the, the anniversary tour. So I've seen them play every song live off of it. But I'd really, really, really like to hear them play uh, You Don't Have to Be Old to Be Wise. Because that song, just amazing. Steeler is a nice consolation to that, though. Track number nine. From the set list in Connecticut, we have Between the Hammer and the Anvil. You know you're going to get a Painkiller song, at least one. It wasn't Painkiller this time. It is Between the Hammer and the Anvil, and this is the first time since 2009 that they're playing it. They played this song for the very first time. Well, they played it during the set list the very first time I saw Judas Priest on the Metal Masters tour. And so this is the first time since that sort of era that they're kicking this one out. They've been pulling out some deep cuts from Painkiller recently. We had uh, All Guns Blazing on that third leg of Firepower, and we have this now. So really I love that they're getting back into that sort of back catalog of Painkiller. I think we still haven't seen Leather Rebel played live since like the album came out, but that one would be a cool one to get added to the set list. I'm not sure if they can at this point, but Between the Hammer and the Anvil, Cannot wait to hear this one live again and be sort of cognizant of it. When I saw them the first time, I didn't really know the song because it was my first time seeing them. But can't wait to hear this one performed live with Richie Faulkner and the rest of the band. Ten, we have uh, one that I'm a little disappointed by off of the Redeemer of Souls album. We have uh, Halls of Valhalla. Halls of Valhalla kicks ass, obviously. It's a great song. But they've played it live recently, and they didn't really play as many songs from the, Hall the Redeemer of Souls album when they did that tour. So... I don't know, I'd rather see some other songs, like I'd rather see Battle Cry live, I'd rather see the title track, Redeemer of Souls, I'd rather see Dragonaut played once again. So Halls of Valhalla, while it's really awesome, they've played it live recently, and so I know this tour is about celebrating the histor history of Judas Priest, and so we've got some other deep cuts here, Judas Priest always brings those out, but I would love to see a deep cut from Redeemer of Souls, but Halls of Valhalla is still a really heavy, really great song off of that album, so... I'm disappointed a little bit by it, but you probably shouldn't be, and I'm going to be headbanging along with everybody else when they play this too, so what do you know? Number 11, we have the title track to Firepower. We're getting two Firepower songs, which shows that in the history of Judas Priest, Firepower is up there with their best albums. They love it. I love it. Firepower is a great track. It's a great track to go into this section of the set where you're kind of winding down, but you want to keep everybody energized. Firepower is the perfect way to do that, and... I can't wait to hear this live once again. They played it on the very first leg of the Firepower Tour, and then it came back, I think, for the second leg, and then it disappeared for the third leg, and then it hasn't been seen since. So Firepower, great track. Can't wait to hear it live. Number 12. We have basically what I'm going to say amounts to a live debut, basically, here. We have Genocide from Sad Wings of Destiny. And so on the website, it said it's the first time it's being played since 1982. I don't know if that's actually true or not. If there's anybody who has seen the, saw them play it live in 1982, let me know in the comments. But Genocide, they love to do this. They love to sprinkle in one of those like first three album tracks here that either we haven't heard live in a long ass time or we've never heard live, like in the case of Saints from Hell or Saints in Hell. But Genocide is awesome. I cannot wait to hear them play this. This was on my dream set list for the 50th anniversary tour that I put together a while ago before they started doing this tour. Or it was actually for their farewell set list. But Judas Priest doesn't look like they're hanging it up anytime soon. Genocide is fantastic. Cannot wait to hear them play this song live. God damn it, that's going to be awesome. 
Number 13 to close out what I'm going to assume is the main set, and then we go into an encore, is Screaming for Vengeance. And it's the first time they've played this since 2015 as well. And Screaming for Vengeance, a deeper cut off of the Screaming for Vengeance album, which is surprising that they don't play the title track of that album very often, but there's a lot of songs on that album that they want to get, you know, get to. And there's some famous songs from that album. But Screaming for Vengeance, absolutely awesome. A little weird that they would play Riding on the Wind and Screaming for Vengeance in the same set list. They're not very close to each other, but they both are similar sounding songs. But here, you know, I'm excited to see this song, but you'd like to see something that's a little bit deeper or something that they haven't played in a long time other than this track. Because 2015, while it was a while ago, it wasn't that long ago, so... We'll have to see, but Screaming for Vengeance, always awesome to see them play it live, especially with this new lineup of the band. Going into the encore, we have the three songs that they always play for the encore, unless they're playing You've Got Another Thing Coming or Electric Eye or whatever, but we've got Hellbent for Leather at number 14, we've got Breaking the Law at number 15, and we've got Living After Midnight at number 16. This has been a staple for the band for as long for a very long time to play these tracks as the, the, the encore on that Firepower third leg. I know I talk about that tour all the time, but that tour is my favorite Judas Priest tour ever that I've ever seen from the set list. Um, they played these three songs live. This was like sort of the like, hey, here's our here's our hits. And then they're doing it here as well with Hellbent for Leather. Awesome song to see. You get to see the Harley go on stage, breaking the law. Uh, dep depending on what Rob Halford's feeling like that day, the whole crowd might be singing it, who knows? And then, of course, Living After Midnight, great song to end the set list with. So we've got a 16-song set list for the 50 Heavy Metal Years Tour. And, you know, it's not my favorite from what I've seen. I'm, I'm, I'll give you a concert review when I do see it eventually uh, in, in November in uh, California. But this is still a great set list. We've got some deep cuts from Judas Priest. We've got some live debuts. We've got some songs they haven't played live since 1982, or maybe even longer than that. We've got some tracks they haven't played since 2005, 2009, 2015. A live debut off of Firepower. I'd say that this is a pretty damn good set list, especially for the second leg of this tour, where they got a lot of the other songs out of the way for that first leg. And who knows? Judas Priest loves to add songs in the middle of a tour. They're not like Iron Maiden. They're not like other bands out there that, you know, play the set list and then that's it. They add stuff. They take stuff away. They add stuff. I know a while ago they added Hot Rock into to the set list in the middle of the tour and it was insane when they played it live. And so you'll get a lot of that. You might get some changes from this set list from today's concert to the next one because some things might not have worked live or they might not have translated well or whatever. I'm not sure, but this set list might change, but for now, this is a pretty damn good one for the Judas Priest 50 Heavy Metal Years Tour. So let me know in the comments what you think of it. Let me know what, when you're going to see them on the tour, if you're going to see them on the tour. I love Judas Priest, so look out for Judas priest -a -thon, the Heavy Metal Marathon of every Judas Priest album reviewed. We're going deep in on the track by track listing here we're going to look at the cds i'm getting it fully prepared i've been teasing it for months but judas priest a thon is starting in november with rockarola and judas priest 50 heavy metal years check out the tour check them out and uh, make sure to like comment subscribe and do all that youtube stuff because it really helps me out and let me know if you love judas priest because i do i'm doing some reviews on them so from me to you thanks for watching and uh Heavy metal will never die. Defend the faith.